taken over. Let's go. It's Pharrell. Coast to coast. Steaks, chicks, stacks. You and I are going to make a lot of money. It's Pharrell. Coast to coast. And we are back for El Coast to Coast, our number two here on a Thursday. Carver High and Cam Stewart in for Scotty on Sports Grid and Sports Grid Radio. Great to have everybody with us here today. Uh, we always love to remind you, you need to get the new Sports Grid app. I don't understand why you wouldn't already have it uh, because it's absolutely outstanding. It's everything you could ever possibly want. Uh, you can track scores and live odds. It's available both at the iOS and the Play Stores. Track scores and live odds. Stay up to speed on all the latest content from your favorite hosts. Or, and you can watch or listen live anytime, anywhere on the app. You can watch Sports Grid on the app. You can listen to Sports Grid Radio anytime on the app, including if you wanted to. Carver and Lisi weeknights at 8 p.m. East uh, right there uh, on the Sports Grid Radio app as well. So uh, you absolutely have to get it. iOS and Play Store. It is smarter to be on Sports Grid. Go to sportsgrid.com backslash watch to see all the platforms uh, that you can find us on. All right, Cam, let me give you a quick update here uh, on a few things going on live uh, before I get uh, to the rest of our stuff. The postman is still at eight under. He's in the yep. clubhouse. Seamus Powers, two back. And he's on 16. So we got three holes to play here. He's got a 27-footer for birdie coming up on 16. So he's got a little bit of distance, although we saw him make a pretty long – he made a 32-footer a couple holes ago uh, for birdie. So he's got 27 for birdie, uh, and hopefully he can miss that. Stay at six under uh, with two holes to go. That would be very good for us. Of course, Ekro, Hughes, Tegala. Cam Young, uh, all these guys are in the clubhouse already. The only one else, Cam, I'd say on the course who might cause us some problems. Uh, Taylor Moore is at four under, and he's uh, through 13. So he's got a few holes left. Colin Morikawa is at four under, and he is through 10. So that uh, And Aberg uh, and McElroy are both three under through 11, Cam. So that's everybody kind of close that's out there on the course. It's actually funny. I thought uh, that uh, power was five under, but he's six. I'm just worried, Carver. I got three holes to go. I really got to get this one home. But I will say this. Uh, Aberg is a guy that I think is absolutely scary. I'm not sure if Moore has enough holes, but he does have a par five. So right now I, I, I feel okay. But you know me. I'm not like the... I, I'm not like these idiots who text me, like 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 this guy that I went to high school with. Hey, Cam, but has got a six-shot lead. Lock, as I sit in the airport ready to fly to New York. <laughs> oh, it's lock. tied. I text no him lock. back, you are blocked. Bye. I don't want to, <laughs> honestly, like I, I actually told him, I go, never do that again. And the guy didn't listen. And I'm like, I'm done with you. Baseball, Carver, I don't know how you feel about these games today, but I bet Detroit, I got them like alternate plus two and a half when they were down a million. So I think they're down one right now. So hopefully uh, this is my afternoon. You always seem to be my Irish good luck charm, Carver. Just well, like lucky charms. Here's, what, here's mm-hmm. what I know. They're up. They're down one. It's 8-7 in the top of the ninth. Man on second, two outs. If you just get that last out, Cam, and go to the plate, good. down one, uh, and then we don't want the Tigers to score then. We just want the game to end. Get the three yep. outs and get out of there, uh, and your two and a half is good. Who's this they're showing, Cam, that hit these trees out here out to the right? I guess it's Morikawa. So that was a bad oh. bad shot by Morikawa Thank out you. to the right. Thank you. Maybe he can oh. uh, at least bogey a hole for us here uh, and give us a shot. The Guardians are up 5-4 on the Red Sox. That mm-hmm. is going to the ninth inning in Boston. The Rays uh, got a 2-1 win over the Angels this afternoon. Uh, did they use Fairbanks in the ninth? They did not. Uh, I wanted to see that because Fairbanks blew that game last night, Cam. I'm sure you saw uh, in the ninth inning. Rays had a lead against the Angels, and he yacked it up. They did not use him today, and maybe because he needed to cool off a little bit, Cam. I don't know if you saw this or not, but this uh, was Rays closer Pete Fairbanks last night after he blew the game against the Angels. Let's get his thoughts on how he pitched. Was it just a matter of command, location, (laughs) selection, anything specific? (laughs) <laughs> uh, no, I thought it generally sucked. I didn't think it was a specific suck. I thought it was like an all-encompassing type I of suck. So, you know, we're going to try and rectify that. But for right now, I'm going to be pretty pissed about it. Uh, where do you kind of go from here? Is it looking at tape? Is it going through mechanics? Where do you kind of go from here? 
You tell me. I've tried that. <laughs> you got an answer. I'd love to hear. You Just tell soon. Me. Oh, Not yeah. gonna let it beat me up for. Uh, yeah. You know, I'll maybe give it till ten. It's nine forty-four right now. We'll give it sixteen minutes of of salt, and then we'll, you know, get back on the bunk and, and figure it out. Oh, I love Fairbanks. That's me on exactly. Sunday night when we come second in golf. I'm just going nuts. Goes, that guy wanted to. Oh, he's a psycho. I love this guy. What do you What he's do you think you can change? He goes. I don't know. Why don't you tell, tell me? I can't. Tell figure. Me. He goes. I can't right. figure it out. Why don't you tell me? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll feel better in 16 minutes. <laughs> like every line this guy had. Wow. <laughs> His eyes just staring. I know. I know that uh, look. The look of being in orbit. <laughs> oh, Fairbanks, you rule. Good job. So they did not use Fairbanks today, and they closed it out. <laughs> so I'm watching Cam. I don't know if you saw Powers 27 footer for Birdie here on the 16th. In? Way, way right. Not even close. Oh, so he's going to par. He's going to par 16. He'll go to the 17th, still at six under. Uh, I did see Patrick Rogers has joined the four under crowd as well. Uh, but he ha- oh, he only, I think, has three or four holes left, Cam. So uh, hopefully Patrick Rogers can get himself out of the way. Uh, let me give you two games for tonight. We have two mm-hmm. MLB games on the schedule. It's a very light Thursday, as we mentioned at the top of the show. Uh, the Marlins open up a series in Chicago against the Cubs. Marlins have been dreadful this year, of course. The Cubs have been very good after a a long road trip where they played well. And they have Jamison Schatz of Tyone making his first start of the year. A.J. Puck is going for the Marlins. The Cubbies are minus 175, plus a buck 45 for the Fish. Seven and a half Mm. is the total tonight. I got to tell you, Cam, I got to go check the, what do we got, the wind blowing in tonight? What's up with the seven and a half? I feel like. Tyone and Puck, uh, and with the way the Cubby offense has been hitting lately, that we should be able to get more than seven and a half runs in this game. Yeah, Jamison tie one on. It's uh, it's Puck season. Yeah, seven and a half. I don't know, Carver. I'll tell you, I lean over, and I will never lay that juice with the Cubs. I know they're off to a pretty good start, but sit minus one seventy five eighty. Uh, you know, baseball is one of these streaky games. You know what I mean? And and I, I just I can't take a team at that price. I want to take the Marlins, but they suck. You might be onto something with the over. That's the way I look at it right now, but definitely check the wind conditions at Wrigley. Yeah, I was just, I just wanted to see because, um, no, it says that really not a lot going on with, uh, with the wind tonight. So we'll find out, Cam. I'm going to get you a better, uh, I'm going to get the Doppler out, uh, I like in a little that. bit during the next break, and I'm going to find out <laughs> because seven and a half seems very light, uh, for that game tonight. The Diamondbacks are in, uh, San Francisco late night after that. Ryan Nelson and Logan Webb are the starters here. Giants minus a buck 45 plus a buck 20 for the D-backs, a flat eight. The total here as well. Um, I like the Diamondbacks tonight, uh, believe it or not, against Logan Webb. They've hit him all right last year. I know he's very good, but I'm going to take a little plus money with the Diamondbacks on the road. I can agree with that, Carver. I, I look at the Giants and it seems obvious, but nothing's too obvious with that line. Might take both dogs tonight, Carver. It's been a great system. And I'll tell you, this live betting in baseball is amazing. You take a team down a couple runs, it's you great. get into it. And honestly, like it has changed. I we had to, I remember before when I was on GTD, we had to make bets before. I lean off a lot of stuff and get a team down four or five, get alternate lines and just sit back and take plus money, and that's the way to do it. It's beautiful. We will <laughs> well, see power. Power did make that par putt, so we're good to go there. Coast to coast, we're back on the grid right after those. gut says Miami is going to win and you should take the over. Your gut also said your NFT selfies would only go up in value. They didn't. But your head is on sports grid and knows the QB is in concussion protocol. The backup has a 45 QBR against the zone coverage. The New York D has the most sacks in the league. So yeah, trust your head. It's smarter to be on sports grid. It's when he swung it easy at three-quarter golf swings, and he pretty much hit his number all the time. Dude, but when he hit something full, he hit it 20 yards over the greens at times. He's like, what are you doing? He's just smiley, happy, and a freakish athlete golf robot that's going to be right there winning majors for the next 10-plus years. It's amazing. Did you say he was smiling or smiley? Only on Sports Grid.
they're still the best. They're still the champs. Everyone wants to crown the Celtics the champions, but that's not the way it works. They got to beat them. And, you know, they got to get through the East, which isn't going to be fun to begin with. Everyone thinks it's so automatic. If it's just Boris is kind of losing his power, if, if whatever his tactics have been, yeah, move on. Pharrell Coast to Coast, only on Sports Grid. We talked about the Otani story, this, uh, this interpreter, uh, Ipe, you know, clearly was a problem gambler. I mean, he would be identified as that and beyond. <laughs> Now, there are a lot of others that are out there. The timing didn't seem great. It seemed slightly tone deaf in terms of, you know, maybe now isn't the time to say it. But the sentiment itself, you have to agree with. You do, you know, there is not, there's only so much a sports betting company can do, right? Newswire, only on Sports Grid. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. Your 24 7 sports wagering network. The early the magical line. and historic season in Lincoln, Nebraska continues. He is the best player in the NBA, but also in the biggest moments where the national media is watching. Newswire. Something that we have never seen happen before with one of the iconic coaches in the game. Pharrell coast to coast. The team covers. It's automatic. It's every time. Not, not sometimes. It's every time. Game time decisions. Luka is actually far more dangerous from three on the road this year than at home. This game here tonight, you may want to consider taking as many points as humanly possible. In Game Live, prime time. We got not one, but two coaches fired systems in place. Sports Rage this Late Night. This sort of written all over it. It's going to be hard to match the emotion that they played with the other night. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. And we are back for El Coast to Coast here on a Thursday. Carver High and Cam Stewart in for Scotty on Sports Grid at Sports Grid Radio. Uh, Morikawa made bogey on that hole, Cam. So yep. that's a very good thing. I guess that pushes him back to three under, correct? He was four under, gets yep. him back to three under, pushes him a little further down the line. And the Rangers did add that run in the top of the ninth. So 9-7, nine, but bottom nine now. Actually, that... The, the two actually works out better now, Cam, because now you got a cushion if Detroit scores because you don't want extras now. You want that game to just end. You want yes. that thing over with. Uh, so this, that's actually probably wasn't the worst-case scenario uh, for you, no. getting catching two and a half uh, with the uh, Tigers here. Uh, let's get into some of this NBA from last night. Of course, there's no NBA tonight, which me and Gabe talked about this, Cam, is actually, yeah. um, I think, pretty silly on their part. I would have agreed the... Uh, the guy, the teams from uh, Tuesday night, uh, the Pelicans and the Kings, and played them tonight, standalone. Then you play the Bulls and the Heat standalone tomorrow. But uh, they're the NBA. They're smarter than everybody else. Uh, both games are going to be tomorrow. Sixers beat the Heat 105-104. I thought it was a hell of a game. Uh, the Sixers were down double digits early in the second half. They come all the way back. But really, Cam, it was not. Joel Embiid. It wasn't really Tyrese Maxey who was leading the charge of this monster Sixer comeback. It was Nicholas Batum who was leading the comeback on ESPN. Back to Batum. Fakes one dribble. Puts up another three. It's good. It's a Batum bonanza here in the second half. Maxey. Quick to the basket. Misses the lefty. Oh, Batum. What a tip in from Nick Batum. Uh, he it. finished, Cam, uh, with 20 points. He hit six threes, had five boards in a very big 28 minutes. That That's what you need, though. Like, you need performances like that uh, in the playoffs from your role players, and Batum gave that to him because I thought, and I'm sure you were, you saw this as well, Cam, like Embiid, he was laboring uh, in that second half. And, I mean, every time there was a stoppage of play, he had the hands on the knees, he was leaning down. Mm -hmm completely out of gas. I mean, I don't know how well that's going to go for them as they start getting into, you know, every other night or every third night with the Knicks when they play this series. But Batum was unbelievable for the Sixers last night. 
Good call. But I'll give him B credit. You know what I mean? He's a guy we call a lot of times we call him soft. He grinded wow. through it. At least he's and, quiet. You know, it, it, yeah, that's the thing, Carver. It's like <laughs> that's the thing. This guy's on the court and he's getting it done. And but Batum, I love I love stories like this. It happens in hockey as well. The third, fourth liner, guys stepping up, you know, they just become uh, big, big stars uh, in the postseason when you need them. So Batum was awesome. And this game was a perfect scenario, again, for live betting. You know, I'm on, I'm on Miami plus five. And then you take the Sixers when they were getting throttled in that game at a number. It's just been, it's, it's been fantastic because a lot of these teams came back, a.k.a. we'll talk about the Pelicans and Lakers game. That's same, same story. Same story, uh, indeed. Uh, I'm going to give you a little Batum here. Uh, of course, a huge night for him. I just laid it all out for you. But he says, Cam, uh, don't expect that every night. Uh, here's Nick Batum. <laughs> I know that you can't really expect the same game every night from me. Some game I'm going to maybe even shoot back tonight. I won't score 20 points per game. Don't expect that. <laughs> Don't expect that from me, okay? <laughs> Wait a minute, don't that was one that. game, okay? He's a great player. Maybe <laughs> next game I'm gonna take only two, three shots, and but I think I'm gonna do something else. And I'll try to have an impact in the game, my in my way. You know, I know like I don't expect the same stuff every single game. Some game I'm gonna do some stuff, other game gonna be different. But I know it can impact and bring something to this team because I don't really care about this. I don't care about that. I don't care about the stat sheet. He I picks love up the stat sheet. I don't care about this, Cam. I don't need the stat sheet. Throw I got to tell you, the, the Fairbanks Patoon show. I love we these love clips that. today. We, we I love, agree we with love you. This, we love a th anybody who thinks like that. They He's understand their role. It's mm -hmm. huge when you're in a playoff run. And Batum's right. Hey, I had 20 to 9. I might have two uh, in the next game. That's okay. He understands his role, uh, which is outstanding. For the Heat uh, now, Cam, they will have to play tomorrow night at home against the Bulls, and they're going to do it without Jimmy Butler. Uh, Jimmy Butler, who got hurt early in this game, was able to tough it out and finish, uh, but the reports this morning are that he's going to miss several weeks with a right MCL injury uh, there in his knee. Uh, here is Eric Spolstra. Uh, they got a lot of work to do. We will do this the hard way. That's just, that has to be the path, you know, right now. We're going to rest up, treat up, uh, Rally Found around each other, up, Found the table uh, a more. get ready for Friday, Found and it. again, <laughs> embrace these competitive uh, games. It'll be competitive uh, in front of our home fans, um, and then um, we're going to bring a, a, a hell of a game on Friday night, lights, um, and do this the hard way. You know, that's, the that's just the way the deal is right now. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> That's the, yep. I'll tell you this. What about the um, line in this game? What about the well, line in this game? What are you thinking? Here, like, this is here's what here's what I'm card. here's what I'm thinking for you, uh, and I'm just, I'll put it to you like this, Cam. I know that everybody feels that the Heat become this uh, different team in the playoffs. I get it. The run they made last year, the run in the bubble a few years ago before that. You know, there's something about playoff games with the Miami mm -hmm. Heat. They change. Uh, I I think that goes out the window. Uh, with Butler hurt cam to be quite honest with you. And I know they had some spots last year where he was injured as well in that Knicks series and whatnot, and they were able to get through it. He's not, he's, he's not coming back weeks. Uh, they, they'd have to, they would need him to get through the Celtics, even if they won this game. But you know what I think, Cam, I think they'll lose tomorrow night to the bulls. Uh, actually, I think the bulls are going to go down to Miami and the bulls are going to beat them. I don't think the bulls are a great team. But they got a little bit of juice right now, especially if Kobe White's going to play the way that he did last night. They lost to Miami last year in the same spot, uh, this play-in tournament uh, for a chance to be the eight. I think the Bulls are going to go down there and score some points tomorrow night and send the Heat home. I just think the line without Jimmy Butler, one and a half, I would have flipped it. Even Chicago, I know whatever, I would have made them like a, bu a buck, uh, one and a half favorites on the road. I'm with you. And Chicago did their business against Atlanta. They pulled away in that game. I'm with you, Carver. It's, it's, the, it's the Bulls or nothing. I, I'm in. Uh, bogey for power on 17. He falls Amazing. back to five under uh, right here. So how about that? Uh, Seamus Power on the par three, not getting it done. We mentioned Kobe White and the Bulls. Uh, he had a tremendous night, Cam. I mean, and what the best part about this game was uh, up, up, up and away over the number 42 points. For Kobe White getting involved on ESPN. Power is just a lack of help. You often see the teams, think about Philly, where they drop down from. White again, a 40.9 for Kobe White. 
it's just it's for me it's offense cam and Mm -hmm. look the bulls d probably not great we know that the heat are going to play great d but i just feel like coming into this game the bulls have more guys who are going to score Kobe White is playing at a different level. You have DeRozan who can score. Vucevic is going to score some points. Uh, DeSumo is playing a lot better for them as well. So that's just where I'm at uh, with the Bulls. I'm probably nuts. I'm sure they'll lose like some street fight, you know, 93-85 game or something like that. The Heat will drag them into the ground. But I'm going to try to take the team with the offense. I'm with you. I, I think it's probably correlated. If Miami wins, that game has to go under. It's just that simple. Yeah. That means they're they're yeah, they're locking yeah, them yeah. down, and uh, the Bulls are missing everything. But you said it. I know. I know Atlanta's defense reeks, but the Bulls. They. You said it. There's so many damn guys. Like, like all those guys. DeRozan. Well, he's with Toronto. He's just a pure scorer. That's all he is. And now you have this. Yeah. I don't know. If Miami can stop all their weapons. Uh, I will have all the numbers for you, Cam, for that game tomorrow night uh, later this <laughs> hour on Coast to Coast. I will give you the particulars there. But we're going to come back. Uh, and do the lion's share for today. I actually have, Cam, some uh, NBA playoff series uh, props for you. Kind of different ways to bet these series. Uh, if you don't want to bet them straight, I have some zany ones. I'm going to try to pull Cam in with me on a few of them today uh, here on the lion's share if we can get him on board. For El Coast to Coast on a Thursday, Carver High and Cam Stewart in for Scotty Sports Grid, Sports Grid Radio. We keep it rolling on the grid right after this. People that bashed him will be eating their words this year. Pretty heavily favored to be a first-round pick, minus 400 earlier this week. But that's not the surprise. If you're drafting J.J. McCarthy in the first half of the first round, you clearly believe not only is he a starter, he's going to be your starter for years to come. But A popular bet was under three and a half wide receivers in the first round. The tape doesn't lie, baby. Only on SportsGrid. He just tossed an air ball, like in a critical. You're up by two with 20 seconds. Like you just, you took the, you said, give me the ball up LeBron James. He tossed an air ball. And there was AD under the bucket fighting everybody. And he ends up going to the free throw line. They use Tavares as a friggin' pinata tonight. Dude, I know you're old, but get it together. This is your last run at something, man. This is your career, bro. Don't go out like this. Oh, I'm always hard watching this. Sports Rage Late Night, only on Sports Grid. The Bostonian versus the book. You're not going to get the Tiger Woods size audience. Do you know know where they went? They went to Caitlin Clark. That's where those people went. What? Those people are now going to the WNBA. Yeah. The fan that only watches what's hot. The fan, the casual who doesn't really like sports, but likes to be involved in the in thing. They're going, they're watching. Water cooler discussion. They're watching Caitlin Clark. The Bostonian versus the book. So uh, I turned it off. I got my sweat done, and I'm, I'm leaving. I'm taking my money. I'm going home, and go. I don't want to talk to you the rest. Oh, yes! There it Six is. Six to three. Cast the over. The over is hit. The Padres are our heroes. That's yes. how we end the show. That's how we end the oh, show. Oh, well, let's just, just sign off. Let's just call it a show. In-game live, prime time, only on Sports Grid. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid, your 24-7 sports wagering network. The early the magical line. and historic season in Lincoln, Nebraska continues. He is the best player in the NBA, but also in the biggest moments where the national media is watching. Newswire. Something that we have never seen happen before with one of the iconic coaches in the game. Pharrell coast to coast. The team covers. It's automatic. It's every time. Not, not sometimes. It's every time. Game time decisions. Luka is actually far more dangerous from three on the road this year than at home. This game here tonight, you may want to consider taking as many points as humanly possible. In Game Live, prime time. We got not one, but two coaches fired systems in place. Sports Rage this Late sort Night. This let down, written all over it. It's going to be hard to match the emotion that they played with the other night. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. 
The brighter the lights, the bigger the stakes. Hunt or be hunted. Know your prey. This is a whole new jungle. This is The Lion's Share. Brought to you by BetMGM. And we are back for El Coast to Coast on a Thursday. Carver High and Cam Stewart in for Scotty on Sports Grid and Sports Grid Radio. Great to have everybody with us here today. BetMGM, they are, as always, taking care of you. How about a first bet offer of $1,500? Are you kidding me? What do we got to do? Download the BetMGM Sportsbook app on iOS or Android or visit BetMGM.com. Sign up and deposit at least $10 into your newly created BetMGM Sportsbook account. Place your first wager and receive up to $1,500 back in bonus bets if the bet loses. If the bet does lose, your bonus bets will be available once your initial wager is settled. That is BetMGM's first bet offer, $1,500. Uh, great time to do it, too. We've got the playoffs this weekend. We've got the golf. Uh, plenty of opportunities for you that are out there. Speaking of BetMGM. It is time for the Lion's Share, brought to you by BetMGM. And I am with you today, along with the Prime Minister uh, for the Lion's Share. And here's what I have for you today, Cam, uh, as we get ready for the NBA playoffs this weekend. I uh, like to get a little crazy with these. I'm sure you just want to go to the window and play the Knicks to beat the Sixers in the series or the Mavs to beat the Clippers in the series. I can't do that, Cam. And nope. thankfully, BetMGM uh, provides us with several ways uh, that you could bet these series in different ways. And I'm going to give you a couple different ones. And I found like almost a different one in each series that I like, like th that I, li I like these a lot. I'm playing these and they're the type of bets uh, that I get very interested in when we get to playoff time in both the NBA and the NHL. Let's start with the Mavs and the Clippers uh, for this first one. And this is for the series to go seven games. Now you can play this cam. You can play it for four, five, six, mm -hmm. seven. I think these two are going to go back and forth, slugfest, Luka, PG, maybe Kawhi will actually play at some point. I think Harden will have a good series. Kyrie's going to be involved. This series screams seven-gamer to me in L.A. And for that, you get plus 240, Cam, if you play it to go seven games. And that's where I'm going to start with this one. Well, Carver, <clears throat> we basically have the same bet. I have Clippers to win series four to three at crazy plus money and Dallas to win series four to three at plus money, or you could do it your way. We'll get to the same damn place. You know, we just took That's... different directions, Carver, but you know where oh. I met you at the bar for a Guinness. You're here. I'm we're, there we're, and I'm with you distance. We're all, Let's we're all go. meeting around uh, to the same spot, Cam. You're absolutely uh, right about that. Next one uh, for Orlando and Cleveland. Another favorite of mine is the mm -hmm. game one series parlay so basically what you're doing is you're playing a team that's going to win game one and then the team that's going to win the series now you could do this game for the same team you could do cleveland cleveland orlando orlando but how am i going to do it orlando to win game one in cleveland and we see this a lot cam mm -hmm. new team in the playoffs young team spunky team uh they go out they win game one against the heavy favorite and then they end up getting smashed in five games uh after they win the first one i'm not saying that's exactly what's going to happen to orlando but I think they'll win game one at the queue, but the Cavs will end up winning this series. Plus five hundy for that scenario. Magic game one, Cavs for the series. You know what? I think the series is going to be an absolute dogfight because Cleveland is historically, you know, they're one of those teams, Carver. You can't trust them. Orlando's gritty as hell. Is there a way we can do this too? Because I really liked your bet, but take Orlando plus points and to win series. Anyway. Maybe I'm, I, but I do like where you're going. So that's the thing. So you can hit, hit, hit everything. But I do believe that Cleveland will win this series. But I think this one might go six or seven games as well. And take a look at the spread betting too. Take a look at all the odds. Carver's doing it the right way. He's basically at the grocery store fishing through everything, looking for the best deals. And that's the way to do it. You don't need to just say, hey, this team wins. There's ways to build it and get, get to the same place. I agree with everything you're doing. Carver, I'm going to have some, so many of these for hockey series too. Like, you know, exact this and stuff. Uh, I, I, that's the way I love it. It makes it so much fun, too. And it puts you in a good hedge position a lot of yes. the time. Yes. That's Especially, key. I feel, with something like this. Because if you get Orlando in game one, suddenly you have a Cavs 5-1 uh, to one to win the series. You know, that's basically what you're picking up if yep. Orlando ends up winning that first game. 
and you know the Cavs go up 2-1, 3-1, whatever it is, or you get to a game seven, potentially, uh, you have yourself what, Cam? You have options, uh, which is something yep. that we always love to have. Next, Pacers and the Bucks. No Giannis for the beginning of this series. Now, we don't know exactly, Cam, what the beginning of this series means. Is it one game? Is it two games? Is it three games? Is it four games? I think the Pacers are going to win this series anyway, no Don't matter if he's in there or not. But you can play any of these series for what will be the result in just the first three games. You don't have to go the whole way. You can play the first three games. Pacers up 2-1 after three games, plus 125. I think they will take two of the first three games, and most of those, if not all, will not have Giannis in them. I think it's a great bet. I think the Pacers are the play in the series as well. Uh, they're rounding in, rounding into form. Like, what, what is Milwaukee doing? That's, that's another thing. Like, remember back in the day, all boot holes or get rid of him. The guy won the damn championship. It, they put Griffin away. You know what I mean? Hey, you reap what you sow, right? Gabe talked about this last night in the show, and he brought a good a good point with Stotts. Stotts and Griffin, they butted heads, and that was Lillard's guy, right? And I, look at this team. Like, they just enough is enough. Like the, the the players are running things here. Milwaukee, you're regressing. I love the Pacers in this spot and I pray the Pacers win. I would love to see this team succeed. I know probably Pharrell would being from India, you know, going to Indiana. I'm with you, Carver. I'm all in on the Pacers in this series. I think they get it done. And the Bucks, of course, uh, you know, they, they hurt me this year, Cam. I had that uh, yeah. them to win 55 games. And they were 30, uh, whatever it was, 31 and 13 when they fired that guy Griffin. Yep. And Doc couldn't get me home uh, for those last 24 you're, games. So you're so betting against like them out of spite. I love, I, I love I, it, Carver. I, I like the ba- yeah, betting. I like <laughs> <laughs> the Pacers, Pacers have beat him up this year, too. I think the Pacers are better. Yep. All right, next. You alluded to this earlier. Uh, you had uh, Clippers in seven, Mavs in seven, yep. betting him to win in the exact number of games. I'm going to do that. In the Laker Nuggets series, Cam, I am going to go with the Nuggets to win in six games. That means a 4-2 series win at plus 450. Now, I get it. Nuggets swept them last year, Cam. Nuggets swept them in the regular season. I mean, the Lakers have been years since the Lakers. It's been like a year and a half, two years since the Lakers have beaten the Nuggets in a game. I just feel like they're going to win a couple games off of them this time. I think that... Things are different. We've seen the Nuggets the last few years, even last year when they won the title. Little slow start in the first round. Lose a couple of games. I think we get that again. They'll beat the Lakers, Cam, but in six games, and I like that price of plus 450. You know what, Carver? I'm going to do both, and this is a thing taking an insurance policy on my book, and I've already made this bet. Denver Nuggets to win four games to two, plus 450, and Denver Nuggets to win in seven, four to three at plus 410. If the Nuggets win their six or seven, at both over four to one, you make money. That's the thing that that's the whole thing, Carver. These bets are amazing. Like one of them wins and whatever. You're getting you're getting yeah. over four to one, four and a half. Deal you're with it. Good, like it's, uh, good yeah. plus money on both bets. Uh, as we like to say, Cam, you could uh, hmm. split the unit if you like. Uh, you could take yep. one unit, split the unit uh, over both bets uh, if you would like to do that. Well, you mentioned series spread betting before. Mm-hmm. I am going to do that for the Nick and Sixer series. Now, this opened uh, pretty even. Quickly, the Sixers became a little bit of a favorite in this series. I, I think the Knicks are going to win this series, game. In fact, I, I think the Knicks are going to win this series in six games or less. Uh, minus one and a half games for the Knicks at plus 220. They have the home court, and it all goes back to me watching Embiid last night and how gassed he was in that game. And, and he's, he could bound to get hurt anyway, even without being gassed. Knicks minus a game and a half at plus 220 for me, Cam. I, I don't know if it goes seven or six, but I like the Knicks as well. I, I, and as we heard the clip from Batum that made us laugh, you know what I mean? He's not going to be that much of a factor all the time. Max, he's a beast. But if Joel Embiid has any type of problems there, the Sixers are done. Done, done, done. done. And the Knicks are going to win the series. So I agree with you. I think the Knicks win the series. And I like the way you attack it. Uh, and the last one for me is all these series have uh, player props as well for series long mm-hmm. player prop betting uh, in the NBA. You have most points, most rebounds, most assists, or most threes in an entire series. I'm going to do that with the Timberwolves and the Suns. Why we don't have a no doubt about it. Great three point shooter is going to shoot 50 threes a game in this series. Do we have good three point shooters? Of course we do. Grayson Allen's a very good three point shooter, but Durant makes a lot of threes Booker. He makes threes, but you know, he doesn't shoot a ton of them. Anthony Edwards shoots a lot of threes. And I think that they could be trailing a little bit in this series. Edwards to make the most threes at plus 
50. A little bit down the board, Cam. I'll take a shot with Ant. You know what, Carver? I really like your bets a lot. And I'm not just saying that because I like Minnesota to win the series too. And I think Anthony Edwards has to be a monster in that series. And I think he is going to get hot. And hey, man, plus 450? That's a hell of a bet, man. I, I, I really like where you're going with this stuff. And we're going to take tackle this way. I've just realized now, like in the old days, we could only bet one thing. You know, who's going to win total? Yeah. That's it. Like, you know what I mean? I'm hanging out at the Burger King, meeting my bookie in a Fiero. We don't have to do these things anymore. We can go. It's creative. You know what I mean? We can go through it. Like, you should see my golf stuff, Carver. It's thick. It's thicker than a newspaper <laughs> these days. Like, that's the whole thing. We have so many options. Like, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, and that's a great thing, and that's why I felt we would do this today on the Lion's Share. The Lion's Share brought to you by BetMGM. So that way, uh, some different ways to play these playoff series uh, coming up this weekend. There's the NBA ones, and you could do the same thing in hockey as well, Cam, which tomorrow we'll yep. get into a little bit too uh, in terms of I've seen, you know, goals in the series by certain players, certain amount of goals. So uh, we'll have ourselves a good time there. Uh, Power's in the clubhouse at six under, by the way, for the golf. Uh, so Seamus Power. In the clubhouse at six under. He's in solo second right now. Rogers is five under, but he's on the 18th. So we have a few more guys to get home here, Cam. Let's just put it that way. We have a few more guys to get into the clubhouse. For help, I'm going to say, toast. it's never <laughs> over. I'm but I'm that. feeling a little bit I'm, better, Carver. I'm starting I'm to feel it now. I, feel I, I, I almost got my key in the uh, door. Coast to Come coast. On. We're back after this on the grid. <laughs> The Lion's Share, presented by BetMGM. We talked about the Otani story. This uh, this interpreter, uh, Ipe, you know, clearly was a problem gambler. I mean, he would be identified as that and beyond. <laughs> now, there are a lot of others that are out there. The timing didn't seem great. It seemed slightly tone deaf in terms of... You know, maybe now isn't the time to say it, but the sentiment itself, you have to agree with. You do, you know, there is not, there's only so much a sports betting company can do, right? Newswire, only on Sports Grid. Throwbacks in white have now become the main uniforms in black and green as well. Four day green. Your contracts will be higher in five years because the ratings will be through the roof, people. Listen to me. Play games at 7 o'clock. Get more ratings. Make more money. It's simple, but somehow they're imbeciles that make this playoff schedule. I can't figure it out. The Early Line, only on Sports Grid. It's when he swung it easy at three-quarter golf swings, and he pretty much hit his number all the time. Dude, but when he hit something full... He hit it 20 yards over the greens at times. He was like, what are you doing? He's just smiley, happy, and a freakish athlete golf robot that's going to be right there winning majors for the next 10 plus years. It's amazing. Did you say he was smiling or smiley? Only on Sports Grid. I mean, they're still the best. They're still the champs. Everyone wants to crown the Celtics the champions but that's not the way it works they got to beat them and you know they got to get through the east which isn't going to be fun to begin with everyone thinks it's so automatic if it's just boris is kind of losing his power if if whatever his tactics have been yeah move on pharrell coast to coast only on sports grid anyone that's been to a sporting event the atmosphere before a game i think game time decisions has that same exact atmosphere this is our arena this is what we do. There is going to be an energy to game time decision that you will feel night in and night out. The excitement you get when you, when you lock your bets and when you're figuring out what you want to do, we can zone in on the biggest games each night. I want this to be the place that people come to before the games start so they feel as ready as possible to lock in their cards. We are going to hit every single one of those markets that you need to know about. We're gonna go through every single thing and I've got a great team behind me that's gonna help me get the job done. There is not gonna be a better place, I promise you, than Game Time Decisions to get that new information, react to it, and be able to then bet accordingly. We will have everything at our disposal and we will use that to our advantage. 
I'm Kevin Walsh. Tune into Game Time Decisions from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern on Sports Grid. And we are back. Pharrell coast to coast on a Thursday. Carver Hyde, Cam Stewart. Love in the for breaks, Scotty Harvard. on Sports Grid. Love our Sports Grid Radio. If we were at Harbor uh, Town, we'd be lighting it's it a up, beautiful, big, baby. It's a, it's a beautiful day there, Cam. It's just it a really great is. day. The lighthouse in the background. I mean, it's just uh, it's such a scene. Uh, JT Post in eight under right now. We're, me and Cam were trying to find who's uh, got a chance to still get him. That's out on the course. Uh, Rogers isn't going to do it. Uh, Strzok is not probably going to do it. Moore is at four under. He's got three holes to play. Harmon's only got two left. We're running out of options here, Cam. Uh, Morikawa, he's got, you know, he's five he's holes? got five holes left and he's four under. So that's probably, five. Cam, I'm going to say the last guy. Yeah on the course who could get to post and i i'm never going to say the words like your friend did the day with Fatia, yep. but i will yep. say maybe he's the only guy with a legit shot to get to post at eight under i agree i agree carver and it's inter- an interesting story that you could tell keith stewart as i'm cam stewart i'd always do well this term you know what the the, the jacket is the royal stewart like that that's our oh, the, family the tar- carton. we talked like about I, it on, i have the exact uh, same on, on carton. we talked yeah, yeah, about no, it I tuesday just, it's the my tar- family jacket carton. Yeah, no, like that that is our family crest. Like when you Love meet it. with Scots and I roll out the you roll out the kilt like groundskeeper Willie, that's us. He, that's it, man. He, he, he sent me a picture. Uh Keith Stewart yes. sent me a picture. He got yeah. married uh in one of those kilts. And he sent me a yep. picture of him and his wife. He's got the tartan kilt on uh there. Uh so this is great. The Stewarts love the tartan uh yes, on every tournament. week with the golf uh <laughs> on coast to coast it's outstanding uh yes. let's go cam uh let me give you the numbers for these play-in games uh tomorrow night uh by the way uh for the baseball just because i want to make sure i keep you updated everything is in the barn from this afternoon uh the rangers did finish off the tigers nine seven so your tigers plus two and a half that's a winner Huge. guardians did beat the red sox five four so five four so three out of four they take in fenway uh, they have been great on the road so far this year, and the Rays beat the Angels, as we said, 2-1 to one for them. All right, tomorrow night are the final two play-in games for the NBA. Uh, we will start, Cam. Uh, we'll start with the late game first, uh, just because that's how, uh, for some reason, I did that, Cam. I don't know why I did, but I did. Okay. Uh, Sacramento is in New Orleans against the Pelicans. No Zion after his 40-point performance the other night. Kings, of course, blitzed the Warriors on Tuesday night in that game. Kings minus one and a half, 211 and a half is the total right now for this. I'm going to tell you, Carver, the one thing the Pelicans have done, and you know this, you watch all the games, you're, you're a sports maven like me, they play well without Zion. I know, but I know Zion has been absolutely amazing, but they're one of the teams that can play without him. I know the Stars. Uh, you know, CJ's got to be a little bit better. I'm telling you, I think that line feels weird to me. Like, I think people are just going to run to the window, take the Kings. I'm not so sure about this. I'm leaning Pelicans in this spot, but I don't know how you feel about it. That total seems a little bit light. I, I was actually just going to bring that up with you about the total being a 211 and a half. Now, they played five times this year, Cam. Now, I get it. This is different. There's no Zion. You know, you don't have Herder and Monk on the other side. Yep. You don't have all these things. Listen to these scores. 135, 123, 133-100, 127-117, 117-112, 129-93. All of those games flew uh, over this number that we're talking about here. And by the way, uh, here's another side note, Cam, to all that. Guess who won mm-hmm. all five of those games? The Pelicans. The Pelicans beat them five times this year. Can you believe that, Cam? Five times they beat them. Yeah, it's wow. it's kind of weird. Uh, I, 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 like I'm ta- I like the over. I like the over, and I'm ta- I like the over. I agreed with you, and I will take a little shot with the Pelicans. I think Sacramento is going to be a hot play, and I don't want to be on them. Give me New Orleans. 
I'm going to go with you here for now. Obviously, tomorrow we will reassess as we'll have one more day uh, before we make uh, – we'll, we'll do this again tomorrow and do a little preview with it. But for now, I, I'm leaning with you. I think I'm, I'm all 100% over. And as of now, I'm leaning with you with the Pelicans, uh, unless somebody changes my mind over the next 24 hours uh, before we get done with that. The Bulls and the Heat will be the first game, the Eastern Conference. We told you before, after what they did last night, Heat minus one and a half, no butler for them. 205 and a half, uh, the total for this game. 205, Cam. Jeez. If you like Miami, I don't, I don't like, I know everyone talks about, you know, algorithms and correlated bets, but with Miami, they have to win a slow game. If, Chicago, if we're on Chicago, we're taking the over. And I think right now yeah. we both lean Chicago. Right, Carver? That's the way we roll. Uh, Chicago's I'm, got too many I'm scores. Not, yeah, I'm not just leaning uh, Chicago, Cam. I'm, I'm, there's no, not going to really be any changing my mind with this. I'm going okay. with Chicago. Uh, I'm going to take Chicago tomorrow night. No doubt about it. Uh, I'm trying to see what they did this year. 118, 116, 124, 116, 118, 100. High-scoring games. Uh, mm-hmm. honestly, a lot of high scoring games. The first game of the year would have been an under 102 97, but uh, I think we can get the points, especially cause we like Chicago, right? I think that, yep. like you said, under Miami over bulls, uh, if it's going to be a game where they're actually getting some buckets, Miami's going to have to match that, which means hero's going to be shooting threes. Uh, maybe they'll dust off Duck- Duncan Robinson and shoot some threes as well. Uh, there could be a little bit more offense if the bulls are going to be in the game. So bulls and over. Uh, for me, Cam, tomorrow night in that one. But we'll have some more time tomorrow uh, to dive into those further. All right, I gave you the uh, the zany uh, bets uh, for these series that are going to start this weekend. But I did want to at least give you some updated prices for the series straight. Uh, this is to win the series. Uh, Knicks and the Sixers are the newest one that we have after the Sixers won last night. 115 now, minus 115 for Philly, minus 105 for the Knicks. Knicks have the home court. They're the two seed. And uh, as we mentioned before, Cam, I, I think they're going to beat them. I love the Knicks. I, I, I lo- yeah, people can bet Philadelphia. I think the Knicks are ready to go. I think they're going to step up defensively. We talked about Embiid. We don't know how beat down he's going to be. That's what the Knicks want to do. Grind and grind and grind. Get physical. Like, you got to do that, right? Like, that's the thing. And, then, and, and I'm telling you, I, I really believe we had Bovey on our show last night and uh, you know, sometimes he's a Knicks guy, but he, he feels very confident with the team, and I agree with him this year. I think the Knicks are going to take care of business. Give me the Knicks. The Magic and the Cavs, as we mentioned, they will start this weekend as well. Game number one in Cleveland, minus 190 for the series for the Cavs, plus a buck 55 for the Magic for the series. Uh, that's partially why I'm going with that uh, game one series yeah. double play uh, for me, Cam, because of that minus 190 price for Cleveland. Uh, another thing, Carver, you just talked about it before. Minus 190 Cleveland series price and put some golf stuff and build your house again. Yes, Morikawa just missed a five-footer for Birdie. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. He would have got it to five. Uh, then we got scary. We got a par five coming up. Oh, please, Gambler. Get me home. It, this is why Cleveland, we, love, we love being on with the golf. I mean, we do golf yeah. Wednesdays with the picks. I mean, it's great. We're on during the golf. And we got a first-round leader that we're sweating out. So that's always... Yep. Uh, a fun. lot of fun. The Pacers and the Bucks. Uh, I already told you. Now this line has been moving, Cam. Uh, especially with all this, as we get closer, Giannis not going to play, not going to play. Down to minus one twenty for Milwaukee. Even money for the Pacers. There was some better numbers, of course, at the beginning of the week. Those are pretty much gone at this point. I still think it's the Pacers. I, I just really do. I- I agree. I'm, I'm a little bit worried, actually, with the Giannis news. Are, I hope we're not getting roped in. I thought the Pacers, this might be a straight pick or they become a slight favorite because we don't know how long Giannis is going to be out for. This Milwaukee team, I don't want to back them like you, Carver. They burned you hard. And I like the way Indiana's rounding into form right now. I think their team chemistry is good. And we talked about this before on, uh, on our late show. Imagine this, Carver. We're old guys. The old Spike Lee days. Rick Smith's. Austin Crozier, uh, <laughs> Indiana Pacers versus Knicks in the day. Like, I, I would love to see yeah. that. That's just what we grew up on, man. Old dirty that basketball. Certainly did. Reggie Miller. It's fun, Reggie man. Reggie over Let's there uh, with Spike Lee on the side. Rick yep. Smith and Ewing uh, in the middle. Yep. Uh, that would be a lot of fun. Beautiful. Uh, if we can get that. Uh, Western Conference, Lakers and Denver uh, will be the uh, series with the Lakers, of course, after winning the other night. There's some heavy lumber, though. Uh, for this series, Cam, if you wanted to bet the Nuggets. That's why you got to get a little creative 
like we did before if you want to play Denver because they're minus 350 for the series. The Lakers are plus 275. Yeah, or you could be like Marenzi, just put the Nuggets in a parlay with a bunch of other things. Uh, there's an F1 race coming up for Stappen will probably win. Turn it into something, add another add, add another brick and another brick and another brick. You know, a UFL yeah. football game, a hockey play. Yeah, it's a lot of price, but I think the Nuggets get it done. The Lakers are grind with them, but the Nuggets can't lose that series. <laughs> no, nah, the Nuggets, they cannot uh, do that. That's for sure. Uh, Phoenix and Minnesota, they will, of course, play game one this weekend as well. Uh, right now, this is close, Cam. It, it really is. But minus 130, it's, it's moved a little bit for Phoenix, plus a buck 10 for Minnesota, who has the home court, of course, in this series. Yeah, I'm on Minnesota. It, lo- it looks to me, Carver, like we, we like a few of these dogs. And look, look, like, you know what I mean? Look, this is nice. Remember in the NBA in the past, minus 800, minus 12, yeah. 12 to 1 series no, win. No this fun. is a whole different world we're living in right now. This is great. No and fun. We, this is what we like. I love the fact that we're getting, you know, uh, either a small, small favorite or a pooch. Give me the pooch as well. <sighs> Timberwolves. Let's go. We uh, we love we love the pooches, uh, Cam. That's for sure. You know, I, I kind of, I do kind of lean uh, to Phoenix a little bit in that series. I know that I've been kind of leaning towards a lot of these pooches, like we said, but mm-hmm. I, I do think that Phoenix, at, through seven games, should have enough to get through Minnesota, I think. Now, I don't, I don't, I don't, trust I don't think them. they could – I don't trust them. I don't trust them really. And if they were playing a Denver – even if they were playing the Lakers, I think I'd pick the Lakers. But something about Minnesota, they need Ant to really go nuts, uh, which maybe he can. But I'm kind of leaning towards the Phoenix side of that one right now, Cam, believe it or not. Uh, this last one, I am not leaning at all. I love Dallas. <laughs> I know a lot of people love Dallas. In fact, Dallas is the favorite now. They're minus 135. Who knows how much Kawhi you're even going to get from the Clippers in this series. They're plus a buck 15. I don't care that the Clippers have the home court cam. I'm in on Luka and Dallas. So, so am I. And Kyrie will show up in the playoffs. I think they're, Dallas is peaking at the right time. It's interesting, though. You could have got these numbers, Carver, and we talk about it, the line swings. You could have got both teams at plus. It wasn't that it, It's a total flippant situation. If you're a heavy unit player, you can just sit back and watch and go, okay, and then play it, play it accordingly. But I'm on, uh, I'm with you. Like I, I'm on the Dallas Mavericks. I think they win this series. Uh, here is the most bet first round series so far. I always love giving these out uh, to make everybody know where the uh, the public is at uh, Bet MGM. Most bet first round series: Bucks, Pacers, Clips, Mavs, T Wolves, and Suns. The most bet tickets on teams to win: Pacers, Mavs, and Knicks. I know the Pacers are going to be super Uh-oh. popular uh, in this series, and the most bet money. Mavericks, Suns, and Knicks so far. So that's who the public's going to the window with uh, with a couple days to go here, Cam. We're doomed. Don't we like a lot of those things? <laughs> we like the Pacers. We like the Knicks. We like the Mavs. Uh, so that's why we're, we're, like you said, it's scary uh, because everybody it likes is. them. But it's been, public's been, uh, they've been hitting a lot of things, Cam, whether it's Scotty yep. Scheffler, whether it's the Chiefs, yep. whether it's that. Public said a lot of things uh, <laughs> throughout this past year. Right. So maybe we'll get another one uh, cooking there. Uh, M at four under now, Sanjay M, uh, after making a birdie at 16. Where did this guy come from, Cam? Hey, I just want to write him an email and say, why now? You killed me over the last two months. Why now? Uh, Pharrell Coast to Coast on a Thursday. Call Ryan Cam for Scotty. We're back after this. Your gut says Miami is going to win, and you should take the over. Your gut also said your NFT selfies would only go up in value. They didn't. But your head is on sports grid and knows the QB is in concussion protocol. The backup has a 45 QBR against the zone coverage. The New York D has the most sacks in the league. So yeah, trust your head. It's smarter to be on sports grid. It's when he swung it easy at three-quarter golf swings, and he pretty much hit his number all the time. Dude, but when he hit something full, he hit it 20 yards over the greens at times. He's like, what are you doing? He's just smiley, happy, and 
a freakish athlete golf robot that's going to be right there winning majors for the next 10 plus years. It's amazing. Did you say he was smiling or smiley? Only on Sports Grid. I mean, they're still the best. They're still the champs. Everyone wants to crown the Celtics the champions, but that's not the way it works. They got to beat them. And, you know, they got to get through the East, which isn't going to be fun to begin with. Everyone thinks it's so automatic. If it's just Boris is kind of losing his power, if if whatever his tactics have been, yeah, move on. Pharrell Coast to Coast, only on Sports Grid. We talked about the Otani story, this, uh, this interpreter, uh, Ipe, you know, clearly was a problem gambler. I mean, he would be identified as that and beyond. <laughs> Now, there are a lot of others that are out there. The timing didn't seem great. It seemed slightly tone deaf in terms of, you know, maybe now isn't the time to say it. But the sentiment itself, you have to agree with. You do, you know, there is not, there's only so much a sports betting company can do, right? Newswire, only on Sports Grid. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. Your 24 7 sports wagering network. The early the magical line. and historic season in Lincoln, Nebraska continues. He is the best player in the NBA, but also in the biggest moments where the national media is watching. Newswire. Something that we have never seen happen before with one of the iconic coaches in the game. Pharrell coast to coast. The team covers. It's automatic. It's every time. Not, not sometimes. It's every time. Game time decisions. Luka is actually far more dangerous from three on the road this year than at home. This game here tonight, you may want to consider taking as many points as humanly possible. In game live, prime time. We got not one, but two coaches fired systems in place. Sports rage this late sort night. Of let down, written all over it. It's going to be hard to match the emotion that they played with the other night. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. And we are back for El Coast to Coast on a Thursday. Carver High and Cam Stewart in for Scotty on Sports Grid and Sports Grid Radio. Great to have everybody here. It is time for today in Carver High history. Let's go, Cam. 1962, the Celtics beat the Lakers in seven games to win the NBA title. 63, the Maple Leafs become back-to-back Stanley Cup <laughs> champions. They <laughs> beat the Wings what in year? five. Oh, 1963. I was not, not even in my mom's womb 12 years to go before she met Johnny and got pregnant. What a, 19... what a life. <laughs> 1964, for the third time in his career, Sandy Koufax strikes out the side on nine pitches. I believe they now call that the immaculate inning, right? Isn't that what they call that now? Yes. 66, Bill Russell. Becomes the first African-American coach in NBA history. He takes over the Celtics. 87, Mike Schmidt hits his 500th career home run. 91, John Stockton breaks his own NBA season assist record. 1,136. 95, Joe Montana announces his retirement from the NFL. 98, the Colts take Peyton Manning with the number one overall pick at the NFL draft. Also in 99. Or shall I say then in 99, or a year later, Wayne Gretzky plays his last game in the NHL with the New York Rangers on Broadway. 2008, NBA owners give approval of a potential Seattle supersonic relocation to Oklahoma City. Bring back the supersonics. Come on. Big time. 2017, Cristiano Ronaldo becomes the first player to score 100 goals in the Champions League. A hat trick in Real Madrid's win over Bayern. Here we go. This goes Marcelo again. A tank that never empties. Marcelo all the way. That's terrific. That's Ronaldo. That's the tie. That's a perfect hat trick and a perfect Bernabeu night. I mean, now uh, nobody sees Ronaldo play anymore uh, because he plays in the Saudi League. Nobody sees him play anymore. We have one more hour to go for El Coast to Coast. We're back after this. We'll be right back. 